This is a follow-up to my video regarding the history of Roblox's darkest industry. I highly recommend watching it first for context. I'm not even sure how to start off this video. The video about Roblox's underbelly was supposed to be the next video in line and nothing else. But then it blew up. Thanks, Nick. You all right. You're welcome. So, so. This video is going to be a series of jot notes and addendums and whatnot. Buckle in. I done effed up. There's a couple of corrections I wanted to make. S3X also occurred as early as 2012 with my findings. I mentioned it around 19 minutes, 35 seconds within the video, but not its own designated slide within the video. Sorry for the confusion. I also thought the backdrop for the condo game was an original creation. I was wrong. The condo owner just ripped it. Apparently, it's from Combat Warriors under the name Crossroads V2. I had no idea of its existence because I fell off Combat Warriors. Sorry folks, thanks to Nat Plays 1989 for the tip. Also, the anecdote I provided in the S3X era may be a bit inaccurate, specifically the one where I get my account deleted. It may or may not be two separate incidents that I categorized into one. One of the copies of the dude's game was just a mansion, the models, and flat grass terrain. The game I remember copying looked more akin to the footage provided. Also, I remember vividly the game I copied possessing Skrillex music for some fucking reason, while the dude's game had no audio. There's also a conflicting memory where I said to something to him like, I'll carry on your legacy, or something stupid like that. So I don't know if it was two separate instances or not, just keep in mind, I'm suffering the cruel passage of time. I'm turning senile and old. My video attracted the attention of a couple condo associates. I'll take their word that this is an insider that works for the specific condo I scoped out. Hopefully, they're telling the truth. You really think someone would do that? Just go on the internet and tell lies? This one claims to be, uh, Herobrine, I think. The Michael Phones meme poster. They sent a couple comments, one saying how they'll answer questions, and another disappointed in my research. I didn't ask them any questions because, well, I'm shy. I don't know what they mean when I neglect to mention an age gap channel. I didn't stick around long enough to scrounge every chat top to bottom, and I'm unverified. So maybe I missed it. Regardless, the video does acknowledge the age gap stipulations in other ways. This commenter tries to correct one of the comments levying grooming allegations. They don't even deny it, they just correct the age gap. The problem here is that this server enforces against these age gaps. So there's a conflict of interest when it comes to the owner trying to get their belt notched and protecting children in a sex game. What the fuck am I talking about? What the f The condo community I snuck into was pretty irregular. Condos' reputation kind of precede them. It's just a hub made by and for pedophiles. That's what the coverage I hear about them says. But if I were to conclude something from my own findings, I'd say it's a strange case ethically, morally, and even legally. Most of the staff I saw were minors. The owner is allegedly 18, so most of, if not all the people in charge, are younger than old man healer. These are either victims of sex and porn addiction, people who don't know the consequences of their developments, extortionist grifters who lack a moral compass, or proto-pedophiles. Maybe even just a mix of these attributes. Either way, no matter who made it or what motivates them, this is still the facilitation, platforming, and production of underage sex and underage sexual material. Basically, this shit is bad for the world, no matter how you slice it. To end it off, user <laughs> concisely says, therapy. Thank you for your insight. Also, I thank Hero Brian Condo Guy for sticking their neck out and being so cordial, even though the video is vehemently anti condo. Respectfully, though. Stop it. Get some help. I just want to quickly acknowledge you guys. A lot of people came out of the woodwork to detail their experiences and struggles with encountering these games. Ranging from strange associates to developing addictions to being groomed. Thank you all for being vulnerable and giving testimony. It helps predicate the notion that condos are not victimless breaches of TOS. Here we got some more comments that uh, I want to highlight. You click this because of the thumbnail. Nope. It was just you, dude. Just you. He's right. 
This is what my thumbnail looked like before. And after about a day, it was just shy of like a thousand views. The boom happened pretty much as soon as I refined the thumbnail and made it less busy. He's right. According to the analytics, people clicked because of the thumbnail. Glad to see a YouTuber covering an underground industry that I'm still a big part of. Love your channel, Healer. This is a troll job. This is my just my Fortnite sugar daddy. Flew was a friend of mine and a collaborator to the channel. I used to work for a condo, colon three. Why did you type colon three? You think condoning sex in a children's game is cool or cute or something? <laughs> you play, you play blocks. <laughs> I just included this because I thought it was funny. It's such a stupid. <laughs> it's such a stupid comeback. But an effective, <laughs> but an effective one. <laughs> Bro, you're low-key wrong for having nostalgia for it. I wouldn't call it nostalgia. In fact, it has nothing to do with nostalgia. The themes of my channel are pretty on the nose. It's basically just anti-sensationalism and disenchanting old Roblox. There's a lot of Roblox content creators and old heads that perpetuate the same talking points that all these problems are happening now. It's all new Roblox's fault. It isn't really the case. The Paradigm Shift series actively refutes the claims that old heads make. The Roblox Graveyard series highlights creators of the past that have groomed in one of its sections. And the prequel to this video is basically saying the sex underbelly has always existed in one way or another for a decade plus. Hell, in some of my other videos, there's a caricature of the 2016 kids who want their own version of old Roblox back. It's a satirization. The only thing that's really nostalgia-based in my channel is the Nostalgia Blocks series. The on-site wormhole is a subject of the video I cut because of time constraints and not knowing where to place it within the video. I do mention this on-site wormhole, but what even is it? Basically, it's either an inappropriate game, account, or group that leads someone towards a hub of internet games, accounts, or groups. It's most commonly entered through accounts and profiles. Wormhole started out as early as the dev era, 2015 specifically. How do I know this? Well, this is because the front page rate of these games were starting to wane, and this is also when people's interest in the games started to increase. In fact, I had a run-in with one of these guys during this time. In short, this guy contacts me out of the blue asking for sex and if I was a top or bottom. And then I try to report my findings to the forums, but I end up getting banned. And the kicker? It was for hate speech. I had a couple things recorded, such as me exploring the wormhole, me trying to find condo games, and me actually finding some. I cut these because the time I found these occurred either really late in production or after the video was released. If you made it this far, thanks! The Q&A is still open, so please check the community post if you wish to ask me a question. Not sure when I'll close it, so uh, be quick. No more Rosex, at least for now. That's all I have to say. Bye bye